the next thing we're going to look at is how to make plots, different types of plots in MATLAB. We're going to start off with just a very simple plot where we plot just one curve and one figure. So the code I'm going to walk through is right in here. Let's just walk through this a few, the lines at a time. First of all, I'm going to go ahead and create a signal to plot. So this line right here tells us to create 10,000 samples between 0 and 1. That's what the lin space, it does a linear spacing between 0 and 1 and it makes 10,000 samples. So these should be spaced at 0, 1 10,000th, 2 10,000th, 3 10,000th, etc. So this basically just creates a big time vector for me. And then I'm going to evaluate a sine function with a frequency of 5 hertz. So I can create this function x, that's just a sine function. And then I'm also going to create a cosine function that has half of 5 hertz frequency, or it's a 2.5 hertz cosine. So th this line and this line, I'm just creating an x signal and a y signal for me to plot. And then this right in here is the actual plotting code that we're going to step through. So this first command figure, this actually just creates a blank empty figure. So I stepped across that line, and here is the figure window, and it's completely empty right now. Plot is how we do a one-dimensional plot. So the arguments that you give it, the first argument is always the x-axis, so we're going to plot this versus time. And then the thing that I want to plot on the y-axis is the signal x. So let me go ahead and just step across there, and we'll come back to our figure. And I have now plotted a sine function versus time. Here's time, and here's the sine function. It's a sinusoid. The other arguments here are very much optional. We could have just done plot of t comma x, but these tell MATLAB to plot it with color of k, which is black. So I plotted it as a black line. And I also said plot it with a line width of 2, make it a little bit thicker. That and many of these other commands down here that we're going to look at, you can also do just with the GUI. I can come up here and I can click on the line. I can right click and I can change the color however I want it. Maybe you want to make it purple or whatever you want to do it. I'll go ahead and change it back to black. Same thing with the line width. By default, the line width is 1, which normally looks like this. It's kind of a thin line. But when I did line width 2, it made it a thick line. So I'll go ahead and make that back to 2. And there's a whole bunch of other options in here, too, that you can see. The style, we could do dashed lines, we could do dotted lines. We could do different markers, right? all kinds of different options that you can do in here with just right clicking and using the menu. Or if you want code to do it, you use commands like this. Okay. So that's pretty straightforward. This next command, grid on, is just going to put a grid. Let me go ahead and change this back to solid. It's going to put a grid on everything. So now I have this nice grid kind of ticking off both the time axis, I have these dashed lines here, and also the horizontal axis. This next command, it says set GCA. What is GCA? That says get current axis. So in MATLAB, the axes are these things down here. So here is the time axis, and here is the amplitude axis. And I'm telling MATLAB to set the size of these fonts here to be 14, and to also make them bold. So font weight bold will make them bold. So right now these are unbolded. I don't know why they keep popping up. These are unbolded and they are smaller fonts. If I step across this line, they are now bigger and they are also bold. So again, you can do that interactively um, by using the property editor, but sometimes it's just nice to have the code do it for you. A few other commands. X label. This is going to put a label on the x-axis. So if I step across that line, we now have this labeled as time. The command y label, if you give it a string, it will label the y label, so that's the amplitude. And then we can also put a title up here using the MATLAB command title. So I just called this simple sinusoid plot. Another thing we can do is we can limit how far we see on the x-axis. So I can say, hey, crop this to start at 0 and go up to 1. So that's kind of how it already looked. I could do a different command here in the MATLAB window. We could do maybe xlim. 0 to 0 0.2, and that will basically limit it between time 0 and 0.2. We could do that, All right? So sometimes if you want to limit what you're kind of zoomed in on using code, the xlim command is useful. 
and similar to the xlim is the ylim command. So I'm going to go ahead and kind of zoom out, so to speak. Right now we're going from between minus 1 and 1. I'm going to set the y limits to be between minus 1.1 and 1.1, which kind of zooms us out a little bit and just makes the plot look a little nicer. So we've created a very simple plot using some basic MATLAB commands. Sometimes, though, you need to take this figure and use it for other things. For instance, if you're making a PowerPoint presentation, you might need a, a picture or an image of a plot, and you can't you know, drag a MATLAB figure into PowerPoint, but you can drag a ping file or a JPEG file into PowerPoint. So there's a useful command in MATLAB called the print command, and that's it right here, print, and this is figure one, and this tells us this flag, this option tells us to do a ping file, that's an image format type, use a resolution of 150 you know, dots per inch, and then this is the file name. So if I actually let that command run, it will actually print a file to disk, and here it is. Here is simple plot.ping, and if I pop that open, it's actually an image file, and I could actually you know, copy and paste this and put it into PowerPoint. So that is a very basic plot and some simple commands using the plot function of how you can make simple plots in MATLAB. In the next couple of videos, we'll look at some more complicated plots and some of the commands that you need to do them.